Hello everybody, welcome back to Awesome Crafter. Today I'm going to be showing you how we're going to make Valentine's themed hair bows using faux leather and the cry cut. For this project, we're all we're going to need is a couple of different colours of faux leather and I've got glitter faux leather here. We've got a silver hair clip. I'm going to attach it onto a strong, grim, a strong grip mat for this one. I'm going to cut it out using my cry cut maker and I'm going to be using the hot glue gun to assemble the hair clip together. So let me take you over to Design Space and we're going to go to New Projects. And as you can see, it's brought us up a blank canvas. And then we're going to upload an image that I've already purchased. So we're going to be clicking on this one because this is the Valentine's themed one. So when I click on it, as you can see now, the outer box has turned green. So we know that that's the one selected. And then I just need to head over to add canvas. Now it's added it to my canvas. As you can see, when I wiggle that about like that, it wiggles it as a whole design. But what I need to do is I need to split that up because I need to do alternate colors. So what we need to do is we need to head over to the ungroup button and click on ungroup. And as you can see now, I can move all the different pieces individually, which is exactly what we want to do. So I'm going to take the love heart piece and I'm going to pop that one there. And then next I need the thinnest red, uh, the thinnest circular part because they're going to both be my red pieces on my bow. So to make this a little bit easier, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the color box there and I'm going to turn those to red. And that's just going to help me identify which pieces I'm cutting out in which colour. So for this remaining circular piece, I'm just going to pop that one there. This little piece is going to be the centre piece that holds it all together. And this is our decorative little heart that's going to pop on the front. So I'm just going to, I'm going to leave them black actually, because it doesn't really matter what colour they are. Then next, because obviously I want to cut those two pieces out together, I'm going to draw a box around those two and I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to click attach. And that means that when I load the mat, it's going to cut both of those two pieces out together for me, which is what I want. And I'm going to repeat that process and put a gray box around all those and I'm going to attach those as well. Then it will cut all of those out in the same color as well. Now that we're ready, we're going to click on make it and that will start loading up our cry cut maker. We now need to prepare our mat and what we're going to do is it's the, the one that it's loaded up first is the one with the little bow on. So that's going to be my goldish colour glitter. So we're going to pop that colour onto the mat first. And all we're going to do is once it's on, we're just going to press it down nice and firmly. And that's one of the reasons I'm using the strong grip mat for this one, because I need it to be held into place while it's cut in. So we're just going to firmly press that down. And then we're going to pop that into the maker and we're just going to press on the arrow button and that will load it. Just going to move that down slightly. I don't need to mirror this because I'm not, I don't want it to cut out in reverse. So therefore we're ready to click on continue. Now it's going to find me the material options. So in these material options, I haven't actually got the option for faux leather. So what I need to do is I need to go into browse all materials. And then in this box, I can just type in faux and if I press enter then it brings up faux fur, faux leather, faux suede. So it's the faux leather paper thin that I want to select. So now I've selected it, it's put me a little green tick. So I know that's the right one. Now we just need to click on done and as you can see it's now the material that's been selected. I'm going to change the pressure to more so it gives us the be best cut possible. And now we're ready to head back over to the cry cut and we're going to press the flashing crack up button to start the 
bei uns geht es Now the cut's finished, we're ready to eject the mats by pressing the flashing arrow button. And then we need to just carefully remove the faux leather from the mat, making sure that our design has been cut out. If there are any, are any little pieces that are still attached, like in this case, all we need to do is grab a pair of scissors and just carefully cut those out. So I shall just take my scissors and then we just need to really, really carefully just snip. And then as you can see, it just comes away like so. Then we're just going to set those pieces aside and we're going to do the same with the red faux leather now. And we're going to attach that on, press it down firmly because we don't want that one to move either. going to load it into the maker. I'm going to head back over to design space and as you can see now it's now loaded the red design so that's the one that we need to cut out next so we're just going to click on continue. As you can see now it's brought up all the materials again so again the faux leather isn't on there so we're just going to do exactly the same as we did before and just type in faux, click enter, click on paper thin and click done. I'm going to change the pressure to more and then we're going to head back over to the cry cut. We're going to press the flashing cry cut button and the cut will begin. <laughs> now that the cut's finished, we're just going to press the flashing arrow button and we're going to eject the mat. And again, we're going to remove the faux leather, making sure that our design has all been cut out. And there we go, that one's cut out lovely. Now that we have all our pieces of material cut out ready, it's now time to assemble our bows. This can be a little bit tricky because we're working with really small little pieces. So I do sometimes find that if I use my hot glue gun, I sometimes like to use like a little matchstick just to apply the glue onto the faux leather, just so we don't end up with too much and it ends up spilling out. So we're going to take, first of all, we're going to take our largest piece of glitter material and we're just going to flip it over and I'm just going to squirt a bit of hot glue onto the bottom of my matchstick, like so. And then I'm just going to pop this into the center and then we're going to fold over the first side and we're just going to press that down just to give it a couple of seconds just to let the glue stick and then we're going to do the same onto the other side and then we're just going to fold that side over as well and we're just going to pinch it down just to allow it to stick if there is any excess glue we can just wipe that and we can cut that off at the end and then we're just going to set that down there. Now we're going to take the red piece and we're going to do exactly the same. And then again, we're going to do it on the other side. There we have two of our bow pieces. Now we need to assemble the pieces onto the heart. So we're going to get our matchstick again and just apply a tiny bit of glue. And we're going to pop that into the middle. And then we're going to take our first glitter piece and we're going to press that on top. So we're just gonna lift it up. And we're just gonna pinch it down just to make sure that it starts to stick. Then we're going to do the same now with the next red bow piece. Then as you can see, we're building up the bow, but we're building it into alternate colors. 
And then again, we're just going to pinch all those together because we want them to start sticking together to hold. And then for the next part, we're going to take the middle piece and I'm now going to stick that on going right the way through the centre because this is going to help hold it all together and secure it to our pin at the back. So we're going to get a little bit more glue and we're just going to pop that in the middle. And then we're just going to pop that right in the centre and just squeeze it on so that it holds. Now we need to flip our bow over and we're going to assemble now onto the back the pin. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to glue this side down first. So I'm just going to put the glue straight onto this piece. And then I'm just going to press that on to that side. Now I'm going to just turn it around and I'm going to open the clip up like that. And I'm going to apply some glue into the center of the clip. And then I'm going to fold over the center piece so that it goes over the clip and that will help secure it. We don't need too much. So we're just going to pop that over on that side and then pop that over on that side. We'll just give it another couple of seconds to dry because we don't actually want our clip to glue onto it. And then we're going to flip our bow back over and the final thing we need to do now is we need to assemble the heart onto the front. So again, I'm just going to pop a tiny dab of glue on the front like so. And then we're just going to stick the heart on. And there we have our completed Valentine's bows all ready for Valentine's Day. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, I would look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now.